Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, I hope everyone is doing well at home. I am also fine. I am Abu Jafar Al Jahid, lecturer in ICT Rajuk Uttara Model College. Welcome to our video lecture. In this video lecture, I will discuss Chapter 1 ICT in Daily Life from Class 7 ICT book. ICT in Daily Life. Information and communication technology is not only used in important state affairs and in the international events, but also in the lives of ordinary people. We use ICT to share and communicate information. If you want to find information, you use ICT. If you want to handle numerous data, you use ICT. If you want to control your devices you also use ICT if you want to simulate or model events then you also need to use ICT if we try to make a list of the various uses of information and communication technology in a human life it will never end now I will discuss two major fields where ICT is used one is personal communication and the other is entertainment for personal communication we cannot think without ICT ICT in personal life almost everyone uses mobile phone and they can communicate with anyone over the phone whenever they like so we can say that ICT now become the most important tool for communication in personal communication, we can do any job with less effort that was unimaginable before using ICT. Nowadays, information and communication technology is not only a way of communication but also an exciting media of entertainment. Previously, people had to purchase a separate machine to enjoy music, but right now, they can listen to music in a mobile phone. Once camera was solely a commodity of the rich people, but now the ordinary people can take photographs and make videos by using phone. It's gradually being an intelligent device that can manage to do work of different varieties. Nowadays, we can play video games in our phone. Knowing any new technology has become very easy with the help of ICT. I hope you all know about Wikipedia. It is the largest online encyclopedia. By using this website, we can gain knowledge of any field. I hope all of you know about e shopping, electronic shopping. By using electronic shopping we can purchase anything from our home by just clicking on our computer nowadays we can purchase or reserve our train and bus ticket online gps global positioning system before of going anywhere by a transport we have to know the road links how can a man reach the destination without knowing the road communications? But it is very amusing that nowadays one does not need to know the roads links before going anywhere. By analyzing the signals transmitted through the satellites moving around the earth, one can locate easily where one is and by inserting a map in it. One can go anywhere one likes. All the new vehicles have GPS. We can get weather forecasting news or information in our mobile phone. That show the driver the way they can choose to go. The first satellite of Bangladesh was sent to the space on the 12th May 2018. This satellite named Bangla Bangabundu Satellite 1 was launched from the Kennedy Space Center of the US. 
Bangladesh stands at the 57 of the satellite owning countries of the world. GPS is attached to every smartphone and almost in every car. So if our car is lost or mobile phone is lost, then we can track them with the help of GPS system. So if you use ICT, you can say that the entire world is in your grip. In the previous lesson, we have discussed the use of ICT at personal communication and in entertainment. In this lesson, I will discuss ICT at workplace. In 2009, Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology have conducted the whole admission process through information technology. They didn't use a single piece of sheet for any work. The Prime Minister of Bangladesh formally inaugurated the admission process that did not require a single piece of paper on August 21, 2009. All the schools, colleges, universities have been using information technology for admission since then. Everyone can complete the whole entry procedure only by using a mobile phone. A mammoth task has become as easy as pi. The concept of doing all official jobs without paper has been initiated in our country, though it is not new at all. Now many offices have been turned into a paperless office where nobody writes anything on paper. Just writing on a computer is sent to the official concern. All the computers are now connected within a single network, so all the work is done in the blink of an eye. As paper is not used, the cost is saved as well. Paper is produced from trees. As paper is saved, trees are saved too, and the environment remains unharmed. The most amazing work done in our country without paper is pulling through an electronic voting machine. It is a democratic country where everything is determined by public opinion. We had to vote the, in the election for which we need ballot papers. Paper, ballot paper is the paper where the names and the symbols of the candidates are printed. The voters put the seals on the ballot papers and then fold it and put it in the ballot box. After the elections, votes were counted manually. It was previous process, but now by using EVM, there is no such hassle in the election system. I hope all of you know the concept virtual office. In virtual office, employees do not physically present in office but conduct the office work successfully by staying anywhere. Now I will describe the amazing facilities of virtual office. In virtual office, we can save money for hiring place. We can also save money for buying furniture. It saves money and time for transport. It is possible to serve 24 hours in a day. There is no time boundary in a virtual office. The concept of virtual office is becoming very much popular in this corona situation. Nowadays, the new generation do not refer to work from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the office. They would rather work freely staying at home. Then the priority of their work remains confined neither to their own city nor to their country but the whole world becomes their work field they do not only enjoy their job but also earn a lot of money only a personal computer and internet connection are required for having all the facilities but it is true that they should be skilled in computer programming
this concept is known as outsourcing odesk elance freelancer.com is the popular outsourcing website now we frequently hear about call centers so what is call center a call center is a centralized office used for receiving or transmitting a large volume of request by telephone suppose a person has purchased a computer that is not functioning well that person may phone to the company authority to get the correct instructions on troubleshooting it seems to them that the person answering their queries is distant perhaps the phone call has gone to a remote call center in another part of the world the people present there know well the answers of what that person wants to know does the problem is are solved and that person themselves become satisfied as well certainly you know that bangladesh is now making large marine vessels and exporting in different countries i hope you know the process of making marine vessels marine vessels are made by cutting large sheets of metals into particular size and shape and after this they are welded together large vessels are thus made perhaps you have watched the act of welding at roadside sheds if anybody directly looks at the sparks they will certainly damage their eyes those who do the welding work wear a particular types of types of glass a tremendous heat is created and tiny pieces of metal scatter around when welding work is done will it not be a good if this risky job is done by robots and not by people yes you will be happy to know that people are shifting responsibilities of risky jobs to robots people become tired of doing the same job day by day it is monotonous and they do not like it to do either but robots do not get tired of working they do not even complain about the monotonous job so people have no longer wa been working as laborers in big industries of the world the robots do the heavy works and the people only monitor it many accidents occur in our country every day but it is predicted that accident will come to a stop after a few decades since people will no longer drive vehicles in the future information based devices will control the movement of vehicles though it is yet to be used in road transports it is already being used in air traffic when big aircrafts fly in the sky the pilots do not have to do anything the computer controls everything now fighter aircrafts do not have any pilot it is frequently known from newspaper that drone aircrafts are fighting and dropping bombs on targets every day without being controlled by pilots the concept of e classroom is not unknown to you in this corona situation students from long distance can attend e classroom office management cannot be imagined without information technology once a lot of was required to move a file from one office to another but an electronic file can move from one place to another in a moment the most important job of an office is to keep accounts now they have neither to handle big ledgers nor to do anything manually since information technology provides all the facilities to accomplish everything instantly by computers if we make a list of how information and communication technology is being used in our workplace it may not finish at all we live in a society the information and communication technology has brought all the social needs within reach innumerable 
websites of social communication are opened on the internet to make the social activities easy along with the conventional tools of ICT. Once people used to invite friends to social function either by letters or over telephone calls. Now we can invite people through emails and short messages. Now you can send greetings to your friends on their birthday or on the occasion of Eid, Christmas and Puja using e-cards. Now mobile phones with built-in camera and video camera are available in the market. So it is possible to record and preserve any significant moments for the future. Again, these digital video clips can be sent to the dear ones. There are many websites in the internet from where you can upload films and share with others. Picasa of Google and Flickr of the Yahoo are the most popular among all these websites. Nowadays, almost everyone has an account in social network. Facebook is the most popular social networking website. Millions of people are using Facebook. The numbers of users is gradually increasing in Bangladesh. Every user can create a self-introducing webpage either on Facebook or on similar websites. The users give information about themselves and displays photographs, videos, etc. In their profile, from where they can find their friends. So, how can Facebook or other social networking websites can help us? By using social networking website, we can find our lost friends or old friends. By using Facebook or other social networking website, we can connect ourselves with many people from home and abroad. We can share our photos and videos with our friends and families, members. We can remember birthday of our near and dear ones. Again, we can get job circulars in the Facebook groups and we can market or do marketing of various products using social networking websites. Power of social network. It is possible to send a message to huge number of people instantly by social network. So movements for changes of government happened in many countries using social network. It is widely believed that these websites played a very vital role in organizing the social revolution in the Arab world, especially in Tunisia, Egypt and Libya. Thank you everyone for watching this video lecture. In our next video lecture, we will discuss chapter 2. Allah Hafiz.